And now going across to some breaking news coming in on the Las Vegas shooting. The girlfriend of the Las Vegas shooter, Mary Lou Danley, has said that she was not aware that he was planning anything. She was devastated by the awful events. She claims that her boyfriend was a quiet and caring man, according to her. Over two weeks ago, Paddock brought her a ticket to the Philippines to visit her family. Well, that's the big breaking news we're getting for you this hour. The girlfriend of uh, the Las Vegas shooter says that she was not aware of the plot. Take a look at some reactions coming in. I am devastated by the deaths and injuries that have occurred and my prayers go out to the victims and their families and all those who have been hurt by these awful events. I have faith in God and I will continue to pray for everyone who has been harmed or hurt. I am a mother and a grandmother and my heart breaks for all who have lost loved ones. I knew Stephen Paddock as a kind, caring, quiet man. I loved him and hoped for a quiet future together with him. He never said anything to me or took any action that I was aware of that I understood in any way to be a warning that something horrible like this was going to happen. A little more than two weeks ago, Stephen told me he found a cheap ticket for me to the Philippines and that he wanted me to take a trip home to see my family. Like all Filipinos abroad, I was excited to go home and see family and friends. While there, he wired me money, which he said was for me to buy a house for me and my family. I was grateful, but honestly, I was worried that first, the unexpected trip home and then the money was a way of breaking up with me. It never occurred to me in any way whatsoever that he was planning violence against anyone. I have not made a statement until now because I have been cooperating with the authorities and I voluntarily flew back to America because I know that the FBI and Las Vegas Police Department wanted to talk to me and I want to talk to them. I will cooperate fully with their investigation. Anything I can do to help ease suffering and help in any way, I will do. Please respect my privacy and my family's privacy. Going across to our strategic affairs editor, Ashish Singh, for more details. Ashish, the police had already maintained that though Mary Lou was being called in for questioning, she was not a suspect, and now she's issued a statement clarifying the same. Uh, that's right. Uh, she was one of the first ones to have uh, been interrogated by the uh, police uh, once the identity of the uh, attacker was uh, uh, established. Uh, what she basically claimed is that uh, uh, he was a very uh, caring person and she basically revealed uh, the last uh, couple of weeks uh, uh, movement and the uh, psychological condition of uh, uh, the uh, shooter who killed more than 50 uh, people in uh, Las Vegas uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, the uh, girlfriend of uh, the shooter, Marilo Dangley, has said that uh, she was not aware of anything that was being planned. It certainly is going to help uh, uh, the uh, the shooter in this case, as far as the legal matter is concerned, going by the uh, U.S. laws. What is important here is to understand that uh, uh, it is could be an attempt to mm -hmm. primarily establish the uh, legal check for the shooter. Uh, the, there was nothing in plan. That is something what is being tried to establish. But I'm told that uh, uh, she will be interrogated further. And uh, in case of any communication, any proof of what he was planning is something that is uh, police is uh, looking at. It cannot be just termed as a last moment uh, uh, decision uh, that came up in the shooter's mind. And uh, this right. statement is basically just to clarify her stand, her understanding of the shooter. Right. At the same time, uh, she was transferred hundred thousand dollars by Stephen Paddock a few days before the shooting. She was also given a ticket to go to the Philippines. So, prima facie, it does look like he did not want her in the country. Uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, she was uh, uh, 
uh, transferred some amount of more than $1,000 and the uh, ticket uh, to uh, Philippines to visit her family. That is certainly something that establishes that uh, uh, this was being planned. Uh, the attack was being planned. It's not just suddenly that uh, uh, came in the mind of uh, uh, part of the shooter. And also is the way uh, she has uh, uh, described that's two things. One, distancing herself from the entire uh, uh, situation right. and telling the world that she, though she was not aware of anything that was being planned. And second, also in an indirect manner, making case for uh, uh, in favor of uh, the shooter. See, what happens in uh, U.S. laws is if you establish that this was not uh, being planned and there was no connection to what has happened earlier, then certainly it helps help the defense lawyers to drop at least one charge of planning. Right. Uh, the execution part certainly remains. It's there on tape. It's there in the statement. And that is something that the uh, police will have to work on, the last week as police, to ensure that uh, in the same case, she will be interrogated further. Right. Uh, the on girlfriend that. of the shooter over there uh, claiming that she was not involved and was not aware of the planning of this crime. Thank you, Ashish, for getting us all those details.